Once upon a time, in a land filled with rolling green hills and vibrant wildflowers, there lived a little orange tabby cat named Sunny. Sunny was a curious and adventurous fellow, with fur as soft as a summer breeze and eyes as bright as the morning sun. He loved exploring new places and meeting new friends. One sunny morning, while he was frolicking through a meadow, Sunny stumbled upon a gigantic St. Bernard dog named Max. Max was quite big and strong, with a heart full of bravery and kindness. His fur was as fluffy as a fluffy cloud in the sky, and his eyes were as gentle as the rippling pond. Sunny and Max became the best of friends, discovering that they both loved to embark on great adventures. They dreamed of traveling across the land and helping all the people they would meet along the way. And so, they hatched a plan to ride on a magical hot air balloon. With the help of some friendly bunnies, they learned how to fly their adorable orange and white hot air balloon high up in the sky. As they rose above the treetops, Sunny and Max marveled at the breathtaking view below them. They could see the sparkling blue lamps, the colorful houses, and even the tiny figures of people going about their daily lives. Their first encounter was with a young girl named Lily who had lost her favorite teddy bear, Mr. Snuggles. With her tearful eyes, she explained how Mr. Snuggles had accidentally been left behind during a family picnic. Sunny and Max knew they had to help her find her beloved bear, so they followed the clues Lily gave them. With their sharp senses, Sunny and Max followed the scent of fresh berries that had been spilled near the picnic area. They discovered that a little mischievous squirrel named Nutkin had taken an interest in Mr. Snuggles and had carried him to his cozy treehouse. Sunny and Max kindly persuaded Nutkin to return the teddy bear to Lily and Nutkin agreed, feeling sorry for his naughty actions. As their hot air balloon continued to glide through the sky, Sunny and Max met a young boy named Oliver who was stuck high up in a tall tree. Oliver was too scared to come down and was calling out for help. Sunny's heart filled with courage, and with a happy purr, he climbed up the tree. Inch by inch, he made his way towards Oliver, soothing him with gentle meows until they safely reached the ground. Oliver was grateful for Sunny's bravery and thanked Max for his reassuring presence. With his newfound confidence, Oliver promised never to climb trees he couldn't come down from again. The land they journeyed through was filled with spellbinding forests and sparkling rivers. On one delightful morning, as the golden rays of the sun peeked through the leaves, Sunny and Max met a kind old woman named Mrs. Rose. She had accidentally dropped her basket of freshly baked apple pies while walking to the village fair. Sunny and Max couldn't resist offering their assistance. They helped collect the scattered pies, carefully placing each one back into the basket. Mrs. Rose was delighted by their kindness and invited them to the village fair, where they were hailed as heroes. Everyone marveled at how a small cat and a big dog could bring joy to so many. As the days went by, Sunny and Max's hot air balloon floated across beautiful landscapes, bringing happiness and help wherever they went. But one day, while passing over a vast open field, their balloon began to slowly deflate. Sunny and Max looked at each other worriedly, wondering how they would make it back home. However, the friends they had made along their journey were not too far away. Lily, Oliver, and Mrs. Rose gathered their newfound friends, and together they formed a human chain to pull Sunny and Max back to solid ground. With cheers and laughter, Sunny and Max thanked their wonderful friends for their help. It was then they realized that their greatest adventure was not just traveling the world, but the friendships they had made along the way. From that day on, Sunny and Max knew that they would always be there to help others, whether it be finding a lost teddy bear, rescuing someone from a tree, or collecting fallen pies. And as they floated back home with their hearts full of gratefulness, their hot air balloon may have been empty, but their spirits were soaring high like the gentle wings of a butterfly, ready for new adventures and new friends.